Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. We won two and lost two player prop picks on Sunday of week number three. Should have just stopped and not even played that Sunday night football atrocity here, but still only 12-7-2 and two on the year. Still an excellent record here heading into the end of week three on Monday night football between the Falcons and the Saints. A couple more player prop picks here from Bovada Sportsbook. We'll start it off with Matt Ryan over under 300 and a hook passing yards here in this one. And my fantasy football team with my friends, I always end up taking a quarterback last. Last year, it, it paid off with Phillip Rivers. I was like the last person to take a quarterback in our draft. This year, I did the same exact thing. Ended up with Matt Ryan coming off of down year. Has been absolutely anything but that here this season. Passing for 730 yards through two games. 73 pass attempts. That's a, a smooth 10 yards per attempt average. With the amount of pass attempts that he's going to need to beat Drew Brees and the Saints here in this one, I think over 300 and a hook is easy money here from Bovada Sportsbook. A little bit of chalk, though, however, at minus 130, so you are laying a little bit more than you're bringing back, but still think the value is there as long as Muhammad Sanu healthy for this one. I think the uh, Falcons, once again, going to have to pass 35-plus times in this one, especially if they fall behind early on the road here to the New Orleans Saints. It might not be there in the first half, but I think Matt Ryan's going to turn it on the second half, go over 300 at minus 130 with him. Now, his teammate, Tevin Coleman, has an over-under of 22.5 receiving yards here in this one. Now, if game script goes to plan and Matt Ryan's throwing the football, anytime Tevin Coleman catches the football, it's going to help us double with our props tonight because I think over 22.5 receiving yards for him. Also, a very good play here in week number three. He's gone over 22.5 in each of the Falcons' first two games. He has had five catches on five targets. Or excuse me, he had uh, he's had seven catches on seven targets so far this season. So the, uh, val the value is there. The volume should be there. And the uh, Saints' defense might allow him to get underneath a little bit and worry more about Sanu and Julio Jones, those guys up top, because over the first two weeks, Giants got five catches on five targets from their running backs. In week two, the Raiders got four catches for 40 yards from their running backs. I think we should see Coleman with three or four catches here in this one on five targets or so. If the Falcons are playing from behind, expect to see a lot of Tevin Coleman out of the backfield and potentially over 22 and a half receiving yards at minus 125 from Bovada. Best of luck to you on those. Make sure you check out my team prop betting picks as well here for Monday Night Football. Big winners over there yesterday, and I've been cruising in that department as well, even more than the player props. So make sure you check those out. Check, check out our sportsbook guides and any of our other plays that we have on the website at Sportsbook Review for Monday Night Football. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbook.